that information is power. And for the longest time, governments have been collectors of lots and lots and lots of information. And <clears throat> over time, the methods for both gathering, using, and accessing that information have become more sophisticated, but also more accessible. And so we're at a, we're at a fantastic time in history where by making that data available to common citizens, to broader uh, groups, to small businesses, to the entire economy, incredible changes uh, can take place in relatively short periods of time. And so I really do want to view today as a real celebration of what's happening. And if you look at the events that are going on over this weekend, I encourage uh, as much participation as people can possibly give, because I think it's very important. Now today, uh, the U.S. government is working with partners all over the world, including Romania, uh, to, to, to further open access uh, to data through the uh, Open Government Partnerships. And the results thus far really are nothing short of revolutionary. In my country, uh, U.S. government efforts are empowering Americans around the nation to contribute to public services in a variety of ways. Citizen researchers are enabling environmental scientists track how trees are adapting to climate change uh, by monitoring precisely when trees sprout their leaves in the spring and then when they change colors in the fall. Citizen scientists have created platforms to collect and aggregate data on disease outbreaks and on landslide tracking information, which provides warning about disease spreading environments and can help identify landslide triggers. Citizen archivists have increased the accessibility of, uh, to American history by transcribing more than 132 million names from the original handwriting for the 1940 census project. And web users are creating faster internet services across the country by providing speed test data of their broadband performance. To spark creativity, the US government is using incentive prizes, crowdsourcing, and citizen science to advance national priorities. Collaborating with civil societies, including companies, universities, foundations, NGOs, and the public at large. Today, I want to encourage Romanians to tap into their own knowledge and experience. There are already excellent examples, like the Romanians who dedicated their lives to opening up the Securitate archives and shining a light on the past to ensure that those practices have no future in a democratic and free Romania. Other Romanians are building a fact checking service to ensure that information is not just conveyed from mass media, but vetted uh, so that consumers can better judge the content that they receive. As the government of Romania's Department for Digital Design Office continues to make data sets available, there's a huge potential for better service, more transparent transactions, and even expanded commercial applications. This is the recipe for new kinds of jobs and economic growth. So today I'd like to ask everyone, request more data from your government, and then take the responsibility to find ways to make that data work 